And we're back! We're live! So, now we're going to be making a custom mod, a new mod requested by Stupicide. It's a pretty exciting um, mod to say the least. It's going to be the first steps towards making necromancy great again. I'm pretty excited for that. So let's do this. First thing we need to do is we obviously need a clay alias and a script and a quest and and and. So I don't even know what we're going to call this mod. I mean, you can always change as things go on. Do we have any ideas for a mod name right now, Stupicide? Things like necromancy overhaul or the insanity of a necromancer. Stupid side. Uh, what do you think we should name the mod? Any ideas? <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, we're looking for a name right now, stupid side, so that we can begin. And I need a mod name so we can give it a plugin name and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Conjuration overhaul. That could work. Get that together real quick. Oh, so we're going to need a file. gonna need a player alias that's for sure so let's bring that up next our current player alias see the beauty of doing things before means you can quickly reiterate that's what I was saying so I can copy my player alias for most parts um, obviously this needs to change it's gonna be CO player alias Import, we're not going to have that. We're going to do debug and utility. And what are we going to have in there? We can have that for our tracking of the uh, sanity and whatnot. Then we need a we're gonna need a config one, but we don't need that right now. What we do need is a place where we're gonna store all our data. So maybe another event handler. another one called data I think CO God, I can see the reference to Call of Duty because CO data Call of Duty um, let's go and stick that over there and There we go, I'm happy with that. Um, so, one of the things that we're going to store is the sanity, right? Is that going to be always like a... You said it's going to start at 10. Is it going to be 9.9, 9.8, eight, or does it just drop in increments of 1? So like 10, 9, 8, 7.
Okay, so maybe for now I should make it a float, just in case we decide we're going to do that one day. Do you think at any point there might be a chance that we could lose in increments of a point, so like 0.15, so 1.5, 1.6, you know what I mean? So if our sanity is 10, it could go 9.9, 9.8. .9, and especially with the, uh, how do I say, regaining of sanity. We're not going to gain 8, 9, 10. It's going to be like 8, 8.1, 8.2, something like that, yeah? Okay, so we're going to have a float property. Um, do we just call it sanity? I think F sanity. Auto. The current sanity of the player. Okay, so we start F sanity. Cool. So that's gonna hold the sanity level. Let's go and compile that now. Let's go actually make a plugin file. That would help, wouldn't it? We need a new plugin file. Um, let's make a plugin. We're going to call it Conjuration Overhaul. If we think of a better name, obviously, we will change the name. Where's Conjuration Overhaul? I think I'm gonna have to uh, reload my creation kit and then we should see it. File, data... Quest. We need a new quest. Where is our quest system? Um, always keep missing it because you can't just search for it. Uh, you probably see it, and I like saying it's there, it's there, and I don't see it. Why is it like so hard to find it now? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Never mind. We're going to make a new quest. Priority zero, event none, start game enabled, run once. Should be fine, then we're gonna attach our data script to it. Well, let's save this first. As conjuration overhaul. Cool, there we go. And we need to add this to mod organizer. So let's install a new mod. Conjuration Overhaul Develop Let's 
drop here, symbolic link. There we go. And duration of a hole. Brilliant. And then if I add a script to this now, we should be able to see our script. Um, no, we're going to have to restart the creation kit one last time and while it does that I'm also going to pull the plugin that we just created and I'm going to stick it there with it. Great, now we're ready. So let us, oops, let us load our plugin now. Long duration overhaul, where are you? Oh, that's weird. It's not showing here. Make sure it's enabled real quick. Ah, there you go, that's why. Cool, let's take that, chuck that there. There we go, conjuration overhaul. An overhaul of the conjuration system. We'll eventually make that neater, won't we? Okay, so we're gonna add a script to this. Um, our conjuration script, which is... we not call it that? I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, we need to compile the scripts now. There it is, the data script and the player alias script. Now let us add the data script so that we can start storing data. And one of the things that we start tracking is sanity. So we said we're gonna start sanity in a hundred. That's cool. Um, and you said when we, uh, if we summon something, our sanity should decrease, right? And also, we should be able to increase sanity over time.
Okay, so let's get the decreasing and increasing part happening first. We want start game enabled, we don't want actually this to be run once. Save that real quick. And the other thing that we need to have happen is... Where's the player alias? We need another script called DMNCO updater. And duration overhaul updater. And leave the priority to uh, Leave it at zero. Start game enabled. Run once. Cool. The updater is going to have our player alias attached to it as a reference alias. So under quest aliases we have a new reference. Alias name is player. And it's a specific reference. The player reference and we attach a script to the player called the player alias don't think we have anything in there yeah we don't but for now that's good cool so we got the player reference attached sweet so we have the data script we have the player alias now I'm thinking what do we need um where do we want the handling of sanity? I think that should be in the player alias. So the first thing we need to do is connect the player alias to the data script. So we need to say... DMNCO data property um, DMNCOD auto as the player alias and then we're going to link that to that one so let's go and compile sorry I know I missed out on showing what just happened we're going to compile that that works and then under the updater for the script we are going to tell it what the COD data is that's the data handler there we go. Now they're officially linked. Now we can begin. Um, so, tracking sanity. Over time, we need sanity to go back to 100, right? So let's do a basic one for now. I'm not going to work out the complicated part where we said sanity will go slower the lower your sanity. We can get that uh, at a later state. For now, let's just get our sanity going back at a constant rate, right? So function restore sanity. Did, did I see the above? Oh, uh, which part? Keep it simple and have the summoning of a Daedra have the value of 1. That's the part you're referring to? Oh, 
Okay, a random value. Oh, interesting stuff. Okay. Let me just think about this for a moment. Okay, so we are going to have a con constant recovery that is going to be minimal, right? But then you can have boost, like you sleep and you get a bigger um, recovery. Is that what you mean? Okay, but I'm talking about the sanity now. Your sanity increases naturally over time by doing nothing, right? Okay, so is the only way you restore sanity through sleeping? It doesn't gradually increase over time. I thought that was possible. How about sanity can gradually increase up to a certain point, let's say 50. And past that to get your sanity higher you need to sleep. So it will naturally restore up until 50 points. But to fully restore sanity to 100, you need to sleep. Is that a good idea? Okay, well then this will work what I have in mind. Check sanity level can be the function, and then it's going to return a float value. Return cod dot f sanity. 
and let me try to compile that. I think we might run into an error. Yeah, that's what I thought. What are we missing? Avoid stress and papyrus, yeah of course. That's what I always uh, go for. That is fine. Absanity. Oh, oh, we forgot to set that to auto as well. Okay. We should be able to compile just fine now. Compile. And under our data handler, we're going to set the threshold to 50, like we said. We can't regain past that. Did that save? Yes it did. Wait, did it say 50 or 500? That is 50. Cool. And then let us compile the play alias. Cool. So that's working. Check sanity level is going to return the value of F sanity. Now that we have that, we're going to do a check where if Check sanity level less than 50. Wait, not less than 50, sorry. It needs to be dynamic, meaning the player obviously will decide what those values are, less than the threshold. So if the sanity level is less than the sanity threshold. If the sanity is less than the sanity yeah, sanity threshold, then we need to do something. In this case, you said it needs to be a random value. What's the minimum amount? The minimum amount that we can restore is like 0 0.01 maybe? This is just the base restoration. So up until 50, it can restore by itself, gradually over time. So 0 0.01 as a minimum to what maximum? 0 0.25? A day without magic should recover a point. One point. So a day passes, it restores a point of sanity. So by doing nothing, it will restore one point of sanity per day, without sleeping, without doing anything. I'm confused. What is... 10 points. Okay. 
But uh, do you wanna do you wanna add a random value into that so it can be between five and twenty or something, or no random? You just set it to this. Um, okay, so give a bonus. Nothing is more boring. You find a workaround to exploit a system. So like you lose plus 10 plus R&D points if you summon and gain 10 plus R&D points per day if you don't. Okay, you just confused me now. What I'm saying is this is for the base system, okay? To restore sanity up until the threshold. So the threshold is currently 50 points. You have a total of 100 sanity, but the threshold is 50. So if you are under 50 points of sanity, over time, your sanity will be restored. Now what I'm saying is how much per tick, or how much per day, can be restored. From the minimum to the maximum. Ten points per day. Okay, so should it be between one and ten points? So it's completely random, which will probably average around five. Okay, I think we're missing each other here. There should be a system where your sanity improves over time if you're not doing anything. Does that make sense? but only up until 50 points. To get it back to 100, you need to sleep. It's not gonna be able to go past 50 points by itself. Okay, so you start off with 100 points of sanity, okay? Now, if your sanity somehow drops below the threshold, which is 50, you can't have your sanity restore back to 100 by itself. So it can restore up to 50. That's it. To get your sanity back to 100, you would have to sleep, because think about it. Over time, if you're not sleeping, you're not going to be able to fully have your sanity, will you? So your sanity will go up to 50 by itself naturally over time, but that's it. It can't ever get to 100. To get to 100, you need to sleep or use a potion or whatever. So what I'm saying now is what is the rate at which you restore sanity up to 50? Let's say per day. Minimum of one sanity point, maximum of 20, or what do you think, or 10?
Yeah, but restoration can also happen over time by itself. Okay, so 1 and 10. Okay, let's set those as properties. I don't think 50 plus is sane, I just think that it's a threshold. And once you reach below that point, you can't really go back full sane until you like sleep or something. We'll figure it out as we get there, like add more features and whatever. And I can then also show you what I am trying to mean. <laughs> I think we need to import the math script now because we're going to be doing some maths. Ah, uh, we haven't set up a trigger or anything yet. We're going to do that now. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. I'll get there now. Let me just put this in. We actually need a random float, not a random int. Um. Okay, we'll get there now. So there's how we're going to get the random. Get random sanity restore
get random sanity restore. Okay, so now the thing is, how often should we be restoring sanity? I'm not talking about sleep or anything, I just mean naturally over time. How often should sanity be restored? Currently it's every second. It's gonna check and then restore a bit of sanity. Should it be in real time that sanity is restored or game time? Naturally only once per day. Okay, so not every few hours, literally once per day. Because I mean it doesn't matter, I can do it every hour because the player will literally have to wait a whole day before sanity restores. What I'm saying is it could be 10 sanity in a day or like one sanity, well half a sanity every hour, you know what I mean. It doesn't have to be a point per hour. What I was just trying to say is we can restore points every hour instead of making the player wait a whole day. I can also technically have it constantly restore like every few seconds. So not like a point, like 0, 0.00 something. So it's slowly building up. Does that make sense? Cool. Let's test this out now. Yeah. Um. Um, get current game time is a float. Current game time. I'm casting off without a lifeline. Break away. Let's get this in. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. Cancel the cruise control. Switch in the manual. Don't you wanna feel right again? 
cool. Let us compile this. Okay, we have an error on line 58. What are we... Oh, never mind. I was writing silly stuff in there. Compile. On line 53, undefined. How is it undefined? F min sanity is undefined. Oh, that's why. There you go. Um, Skyrim cricket. We should be good now. Yeah, we good. And our data. Cool, we good. Now our value. What is the minimum restore we said? I can't remember what we said in the end. Minimum of 1, maximum of 10. Oh, we can always fine tune that afterwards. Cool, let's jump into the game. Yeah, we'll still fine-tune that. I was just trying to get like a value in. Right now I'm actually just testing. I need to figure out how we're going to figure out how much time has passed. It's because we wanted a random value that gets restored every hour. So it's not always the same. So minimum is 1, maximum is 10. Then a random value between 1 and 10. It could be 2, it could be 7, it could be 1. Okay, let's see if uh, our quest is running. Yeah, it is running. There's our variables. Let's check our debug log now. Here's our debug log. Um, so this is supposed to be the time. I think this is the time. 612, 612, what is it outputting? Get current game time? That's apparently the current game time. That's 6 or 12 in the morning. Oh, it's 12 in the afternoon, 1229. How cool is that? Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. So if I set my sanity... Okay. Cool. gonna make a new function check hours past
exactly, yeah. <sighs> yeah, we can also decrease it. Exactly, yeah. We can always add to it. Right now I just gotta figure out how we're gonna figure out how time has passed. We have a function called get current game time. So we can get the current time. It looks like we might have to have two variables. The start time and the current time. And then you compare the two. Okay, let's think how we're gonna do this. So let's set the game time. Okay, so we know it starts blank, then we're going to set it to the current game time. We're going to set B to get current game time and we're going to have that update every, we can have it update every second for now but later on I'll make it like every minute or whatever. And then we're going to have a check where if, um, game time B At midnight it will be 12, exactly. But I'm not going to rely on the time of day, because if the player sleeps for several days in a row, as you can imagine, how would you know when, what time has passed? So I'm relying on the actual amount of days that have passed.
No, it won't. You see now what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we also need a way to increase sanity, remember? That was the point. Because if it's only once per day, they have to specifically wait and they might, like, wait and waste time. Where it's every hour they can just keep playing and then it's, like, more fluid. Exactly, that's what I'm doing now. So game time A and game time B. Game time B. Okay, let us go and compile that now. We have an error. Why? 56 Oh, there we go. There was a space there. Still getting an error. 
956. Do I have to literally do that? Let's have a look and see, does that make a difference? Doesn't like that for some reason. to see no viable alternative at input f time pass Why does it not like this? What am I missing right now? We've got time passed. Uh, no viable input for whatever reason. that again. Let's try to figure out why we're failing. No viable alternative at input. Line 56. 22nd character. Am I going crazy? No, it's just uh, something with the calculation here. Oh, I found the issue. I'm gonna do this. Hours passed. Times equal to 24, there we go. 
Okay, that should be it. Nine fifty six. There we go. Um, that should compile. Now we just need to add a float, sorry, my bad. There we go. Compile. Cool! We are ready. So now it should be... Telling us how much time has passed. Hopefully, be accurate. Check the uh, debug. No, I hate when this glitch happens. I absolutely hate when this glitch happens. Let's wait for an hour in real game time. Okay, um, we need to make sure that we initialize the data, data handler, so we need game time, and game time A, game time B, there we go, start, otherwise we're going to get those errors like you saw. Yeah, so what we're trying to detect right now is how much time has gone by. We're constantly checking. And once we detect that an hour has gone by, then we will give the um, required sanity points. If multiple hours have gone by, then we will give Sanity points times the amount of hours that have gone by. 
Now you can understand why I wanted that limit of 50. Because then they can't sleep for days. And just get days worth of sanity points. Or well, not sleep, sorry, wait. Okay, let's check the log. Currently zero. Because obviously zero time has gone by. But let's sleep. I mean, not sleep, wait. Store on zero. Interesting. I think I know what's going on. Ah, it's still showing zero. Okay. Time to bring out the big guns, aka debugging. Yes, we can. We can do both. Right now, we just have to figure out uh, what is going on here. There we go, that extra debugging should help us figure out what's going on. Obviously we need to figure out where it's failing maths. I'm just compiling the script in the background, there we go, it's done. Go back in and figure out. I think it might be because I'm multiplying by 24 after flooring it. So I'm not sure where exactly it's wrong, but we're going to figure it out now. Uh, floor is a math function where basically, yeah, it rounds down numbers, that's correct. So if you had 1.25, it would become 1. And ceiling is the opposite of floor, where if you had any number, it will take it to the next whole number. So 1.2 would be 2, or 1.6 would be 2, etc. Um, so let's figure out what it's doing now. No, it's doing that stupid thing again. Ah, hate when my game does this. Okay, let's wait for three hours to go by for the script to do its thing. Close it. Okay, here we go. Let's now try to make light of what is going on here. Time since last update, 6.51. Time now, 6.66. Time passed, 0 0.12. Hours passed. Hours passed. Okay, that's why it was giving us 0.
I think what we need to do is take time past zero. What is time past zero? No, time past. And times it by 24. Because hours past is just zero. So time hours past should be Time past times twenty four. That would have given us I'm just calculating it here on my side. Should it be times 60 actually? Yeah, we want it times 24. So I think that should give us what we're looking for now. Holding thumbs. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It seems to be working, check this out. Time since last update 6.5, time now 6.5, time past 0 0.1111, hours past 0.00275. So if we wait an hour in game, what happens in our script? Does it detect as an hour? Yep, there you go, look at that. 
Hours passed. One. So let's make sure it is working. Let's pass six hours. So it should say seven in total. And let's check our... There you go. Seven hours. So it's working as it should. You see that? So now we know. Seven hours have passed. My concern though is I think it resets. I'm not sure. But let's just continue. Let's sleep for like 24 hours. So 24 plus 7 should be 31. It will hopefully say 31 and not restart from 0. Oh sorry, you can't see. I started a 24 hour sleep cycle. We're getting there though, huh? There we go, 24 hours have passed. Hey, it's on 31 right now. Cool. So time passed. Oh, it's 1.2. That's why it works. That's the only reason it works. Because 1.2, if we floored it, we would have gotten that remainder. The reason this works is that's one day. So 1.2 times 24 is 31 hours. Let's confirm. Actually, 1.3. So 1.3 days times 24 Gives us 31 hours. Yes! <laughs> oh. Let's test it out some more. Let's sleep for like 12 more hours. I just want to make sure. So now we reliably can track the amount of days that have gone by. And the amount of hours as a result. How we can even do minutes if we wanted to. Okay, let's see. We're on 43 hours now. Great. And how do we know? Because basically 1.8 times 24 is 43 hours. Awesome! Let's document this properly now, now that we know it's working. Um, well, we're going to do it every hour since they started, because obviously we don't know when they start the game, so... Remember, every hour we restore points. So time now is get current game time. Days passed is time now minus time since last update. And then we do a check.
We do time since last update. Getting somewhere. Let's compile these scripts. Um, okay, now that that is working, we can do a check. If... Check hours passed. Greater than 1. Greater than or equal to 1. As in, we're checking for every hour. Gonna leave us a message. Okay, now we just have to think the hours passed. Obviously, we're getting a value like 1.79, 1.8. It's not like full hours. Um, so how do we handle that? Okay, I know. This becomes an integer. Int i hours past equal to days past times 24. So that's always going to return an integer. And then this is going to be we're going to then set our sanity you still following this? <laughs>
<laughs> awesome man, I appreciate it. I'm just compiling this real quick. No, it's fine. We're just gonna get them one by one. Go. Like getting more and more complicated as we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, if I wait an hour, we might get a message. An hour has passed! Hey! Six point five one four three zero oh six. Zero point zero four two five one six times twenty four is one point oh two. Oh, thanks to my amazing coding skills, we're going to keep getting spammed with this message box. This was such a bad idea. God damn it. It's let three hours pass. Now don't worry, the message box is gonna be gone <laughs> now. Cool, so it is working and it's correctly like realizing how many hours have passed. So as you can see, hours past one and then we waited three hours, hours past were four. So that is working. How are we gonna do this now? Okay, now we need a way to bring our sanity down. So let's not have that. <laughs> oh, 
Um, so one way for sanity to be reduced is if we cast a spell, you say? Do an on spell cast. Yeah, gonna have to do that. Let's test something out real quick. Yeah, I don't want to touch the spell. That's I want it to be dynamic. That's the beauty of all my scripts, they're dynamic. Yep, exactly. Here's what I got. On spell cast. So hopefully that will work for us. Um, let us go and compile that. Oh, the question marks. Uh, I needed to find out what the spell was called. Let's just type in summon. And let's see what we get. Forgot what it's called exactly. Not called summon? What skeleton? No? That's weird. Oh, because I don't have Skyrim uh, as a plugin. Oh, Conjure. Right. Well then, this is going to take a short while. Bonjour. So basically we get we can have like a form, a formless, so we put all our spells in there and then we check each one and if a certain one was cast we uh, will remove sanity. It does, but we'll add a event filter so it only uh, listens for the spells that we want. Like in this case, we're going to be testing with skeleton. It's minimal um, performance hit. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Conjure, you say. Conjure. There we go. Conjure. Hmm. Maybe. Flame Atronach. Let's do the Flame Atronach. Okay, so we got our notepad. Cool, 
go back here, compile. Oh, before I compile, I'm gonna have to set these things. What is that? It's a spell property conjure flame atronach auto. And then this needs to be set as dmncod dot. There we go, and then we go compile and compile. Missing right parentheses. How many times am I gonna always miss these things? Hey, alias. And then we're gonna go into our quest data handler and we need to specify what the uh, value is auto fill there we go it finds the flame at Trinach. save yeah yeah I know I know this was just uh, to test this is purely to test uh, the functionality of detecting a spell being cast Once we know that it works and so we can detect any spell, then we will specify what exactly. And then uh, also remove sanity. Okay, what was the point? Alright. Uh, we need to add that Atronach to us now. We need to add the spell. So the spell is... I th think it works as player dot add spell two o four c three. There we go. Um, conjuration. Why can't I? You don't have enough magicka. Let's give ourselves magicka then. How about now? There we go. Cool, so that's a uh, play metronome. God damn it! Oh, there you go. Um, did it work? We just. Yeah! Look at this! We just summoned a flame metronome! Nice! And let's now cast another spell to make sure that it's actually, you know, working. And then if it's not. A flame atronach, it will say. We caused something, but we don't know what it was. Hey! hey. <laughs> nice! Okay, that functionality is working. Now, let's make it. You said not a flame atronach, it should be a. You tell me. Look at this and tell me which one. These are the conjurers Dragon Priest, Dremora Lord. Which one do we take? Dremora Lord. Okay. So change that in our script. <laughs> cool. We make it so that it is dynamic. What do you mean by dynamic? And how many points must we deduct when you summon this Dremora? 
Let's just test it for now, I guess. Ten, it is. We'll go compile that. And we're gonna have to adjust the data. And Dremora, there we go. Cool, that should be it. I can detect the apocalypse mod, I'll just need to know what spells, obviously. So I need a form list with all the spells that uh, would be uh, triggered. So we basically make like a record. We make a database of all the spells, we put it in one form. And then our listener listens for when uh, the spell is cast, and when it is, you'll see what happens now. Uh, what is the name? CO Data Handler. Okay, look, our sanity is a hundred. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold on, you can't see. Okay, so our sanity is at a hundred. Now let's go and not punch. Oh, we don't have enough magicka. There we go. Now we have enough magicka. Okay, we summoned the Dremora. Now look at our sanity. Our sanity is at ninety. How cool is that? And then I'm gonna summon another one. I'm gonna summon another one. And now our sanity is at 70. No, because you told me that it must be minus 10 every time. We don't have any randomness yet. Yeah, yeah, it is missing. It's doing what it should do. So we're at 70. What happens if we wait for an hour? An hour went by. Should have. Oh, but it's not under 50. It needs to be under 50. That's 60. That's 50. And this is going to be 40. What? Sanity's at 3.9 now. How the hell does that work? Oh, it's going up. Look, look, look. 5.6. 9.5. <laughs> it's going up. It's working, but uh, I think I reset it to zero and then started adding. Minor glitch will solve that. It's at one now. Now it's at four. Now it's at one. What? <laughs> what happens if I summon? To go to negative, it goes to nine. What is going on? No, that's not how it works. It's 
Let me just try to figure out what is going on here. Something weird is going on. Okay, so you have a threshold, right? When you go under 50 points of sanity, it will slowly regain by itself up to the 50 points. So there's not a limit of 50 per day. It's just, it can't go above 50 points naturally over time. If you want to get it to 100, you have to sleep or do something specific. Okay, so let's go figure out some glitches of what's happening. Think of it like fatigue. You run around, right? You're really tired. You ran for maybe 10 minutes. You're getting exhausted. But over time, you're slowly regaining your fatigue, right? But to a certain point. To be fully rested, you need to go sleep and have a good night's rest. Does that make sense? So when you're summoning, you're in a state of fatigue. But over time, you slowly return to a base level, which is 50 out of 100. If that makes sense. Because otherwise they can restore sanity to 100% by doing nothing. So it can only naturally restore up to 50. If you want to restore up to 100, you need to either sleep or do some other activity that you still need to tell me. If that makes sense. What are you thinking? And I think I've solved that bug for the sanity restore. Okay, how much should the cost be for summoning? What's the minimum and maximum for the randomness so that I know?
So the minimum cost of 5 and a maximum cost of 15. So it could be 5, 6, 7, 7 point something, 8 point something. Cool. Okay, let us just go and Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so we said minimum, max sanity cost is 15, minimum is 5, cool, done, save that, Sorry, back where are we? You don't get XP for using staffs anyway, in vanilla that is. I'm not sure how the staff thing will work, I'm sure we could figure it out. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, so now we need the um, 
Need to add the Dremora to us. Add spell. 10 BDEC. That stops, Sanguine Rose. The game is thinking about you. Okay, look at that. Our sanity is on 100. You see this, right? Let's save this so we don't have to keep doing this over and over. Okay, let's look at our sanity now. Our sanity is on 87.73. Obviously it's not going up. Because, so it used something like, what's that, 13, 12.27. Let's summon again. Now we're on 82. That used somewhere around 5. Now we're on 76. Let's keep going. Now we're on 55 get under 50. We're on 33 now. We're still on 33. Obviously an hour hasn't gone by so it's not checking or updating. Let's wait for an hour. Boom, we're on 36 right now and something is killing us. Can you not? Help us Dremora. Oh, how powerful. We're on 22 right now. 22.97. 22.97 still. All oh, right, it's every hour that this updates. That's why it's not updating. I keep the kids doing it the whole time. Wait another hour. How much we get now? 24.65. What was it previously? 22. Now it's 24. Okay, so we got like two points there in the hour. To wait another hour. We got 32 points. Nice, nice. Apparently, that Skiva came back from the dead. <laughs> Let's wait three hours. And now we're at 61 sanity points. Now wait another. Okay, I gotta make sure it doesn't go over 50 though. 50 is the cap. Okay, it's not restoring anymore, which is how it should be. And then if we summon. And we are on 45 right now. If an hour went by, we are at 45 still. Oh, we're on 54. Never mind, it just didn't update. So it's working. The system's working. Every hour we're getting uh, sanity back. So long as we are under 50 sanity. And then to get to the max sanity 100, you need to tell me what the requirements are. Obviously one of them is going to be you have to sleep. And you can get max, I don't know, 10 points of sanity per day on top of the 50. So you can go to 60.
Cool. That's working nice. How's it going, Drastic Cat? <laughs> um, stupid side, it won't go lower than zero right now. Um, no, but we can make it go below zero if we need to. What are you thinking so far, stupid side? Do you think that's an issue? The fact that it only stops at 50? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You are fully sane if you've slept, right? Imagine now you're going on and you haven't slept and your sanity's gone down because you've been summoning things because it's exhausting. How should it naturally just go back to 100 again? I know 
from the start, you my bunny, I'm your clock. From now to eternity, I give you all my heart. We are meant to be, it's clear to see. My love is bigger than I thought. I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm. Yeah, this no matter, my love and my pleasure, the key to my treasure. Whatever's was the weather, day up and out with you till I die. How many times for you on my truck? I mean, it can be an hour. Or we can have a certain amount of points that you restore per hour slept, which I think is a better option. So you sleep three hours, you get whatever times three. Because I mean, if you slept for an hour after not having slept for a day, I don't think you're going to be that much more sane. So like eight hours of sleep, even six hours of sleep would be enough to get you back to sane. The limit of 50 is the stamina. It's the point of exhaustion. Where when you're under that, you will recover sta uh, sanity points. But it will only ever go back to 50. I mean, okay, you can do that. You sure 90? I mean, obviously that number is configurable, so whatever we set, someone else can change that value. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to go now, but uh, if you wanna put ideas together and things that you think will work, and then I'll reach out to you again. So we can like continue this in part two. And I've made a to-do here so far. Yeah, I mean, you can get points quicker that way, but then you also get points per hour as well. Or maybe we should have it like every minute you get points back. But obviously the amount is however much you would have gotten in an hour divided by 60. So that you get those points. Yeah, I mean, you need sleep to recover to max sanity. That's why I don't suggest 90. I had it at 50, but maybe 70? Should we have the threshold at 70? So it can only naturally restore to 70 to get the remaining 30 you need to sleep. I mean, think about it, right? If you don't sleep, do you think you're ever going to regain your sanity? Like in real life? Or if you had just one hour of sleep every day, what do you think that's going to do to your sanity?
So what do you think? Should I set the threshold to 70 then? Instead of 50? So anything under 70 will go back to 70 over time. And then to get the last 30, you need to sleep. Sound good to you? Cool, I'll put it at 70. And then we need to figure out what is like an ideal amount of sleep, six hours or eight hours to regain the 30. Cause then I'll balance it so that you get 30 points over eight hours, but I'll divide it by the time you slept. So let's say if we'd agreed on eight hours, that's eight, that's 30 divided by eight. So you will get 3.75 points per every hour slept. Okay, so you think 6 hours instead of 8. Sure, sure. Cool. Alright, well that's it. I've got the to-do list and if you want to make a list and things and stuff and then we can get back to this and we can um, add some more things. <laughs> I'm glad with the progress we made. It's pretty far so far, sir. But just a brand new mod. Cool man. And then if you want to do me a favor, if you get a chance, um, for every spell that you want to have sanity deplete, if you open the creation kit, do you see these form IDs? You see like for example, um, Dramora Lord is 10 DDEC or 0010 DDEC. If you can give me form IDs, and obviously tell me who they belong to, like the full name, the editor ID, this thing. Then I can start making a list of all spells that will affect us. You, you basically just uh, load the plugin in the creation kit. You go file in the creation kit, go file data, find the plugin in the list, double click it and say, just literally double click it and then go OK and then it will load and once it's loaded um, under filter you can type conjure and go to all and I'll show you everything that has conjure otherwise you're gonna have to go manually through the spell uh, I think there's a spell somewhere here somewhere here it says spell um, Leveled spell, I think? No, not level spell. There it is, spell. Do you see? Spell. And then you go through the spell, and then you can let me know. Well, it's fine. You could basically just... Yeah, we'll figure it out another time. I mean, that's easy enough. Even I can go through it, so... I just have to basically know what spells would trigger that. Cool. Awesome. Um, well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun and hopefully I'll see you again. And once again, thanks for the donation, by the way. It was really awesome of you. Every little bit helps. I'm getting one step closer to Fallout 76. <laughs> Pretty excited for that.
Um, you can feel free to add me on Steam. That'll be like easiest. Let's see, I think I have the setup. There you go. Cool. Well, I need to be off now, but hopefully I catch you around again, and then we can like polish things up. I'll do the next stream when you're on. And yeah, please do keep your ideas, write them down, so we can incorporate them next time. The three death dog, how's it going? Sorry, I'm literally just about to run off now. But hopefully I will catch you around in the next stream. We just finished up with a lot of mod that we've been creating from scratch. Unfortunately. I <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I'm gonna be streaming a little bit later. I'm actually gonna be playing something and then obviously we'll be modding again. So if you wanna like follow, drop a follow, then uh, you'll be notified when that happens. Cool man, well welcome to the family. It's so good to have you. Cool, well thanks guys. Thanks for dropping by, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next stream. Bye for now. <laughs>